Hello, Hilldale family and Putnam City friends. Today, we're gonna to do a short lesson on the instrument families. I have brought out all of my instruments and borrowed a few from some family members so that I can show you our, instru uh, our instruments. There are four instrument families. There's a string family, a woodwind family, a brass family, and a percussion family. I'm gonna have a bonus question that I'll give you the answer at the end, but that question is, what family does the piano belong to? So we're gonna start over here with the string family. I have two instruments from the string family here. This one is a guitar. The way a string family works is it has a string that is either plucked, hit, or bowed like a violin in order to make sound. If you watch real close, you can see the sound from the string. A guitar has six strings, and just like our ukuleles, for each of the strings, there is a tuning peg to change the note so that you can tune the guitar. Here is our ukulele. Many of you might be familiar with this one. It works the same way. It has a sound hole just like the guitar, but it only has four strings. Can you think of some other instruments that might belong to the string family? If you thought of violin, viola, cello, or bass, that, that would be correct. We're moving on to the woodwind family now. I borrowed my wife's clarinet so that I could show you the clarinet. The woodwind family has two groups of instruments. It has reed instruments, and then it has flute instruments. This is a reed instrument, the reed is this little piece of wood at the top. When you play a reed instrument, the sound comes from the reed vibrating against the mouthpiece when you blow air through it, like this. That doesn't sound very good though, so we put it on the rest of the clarinet to make a more pretty sound. When you play the clarinet, the sound comes through the little holes where the fingers are. If the finger covers it, it goes to the next hole. And if you cover all of them, it comes out the end. This right here is a recorder. A recorder is also a woodwind instrument. It's part of the flute family. It doesn't have a reed to vibrate against. Instead, the wind from your breath twirls around on the inside of the instrument and it comes through this little whistle right here. And that's what gives it sound. That's a recorder. Now, my favorite family is the brass family. I play the French horn. And the brass instruments all work the same way. They have a mouthpiece, just like on this cornet, and you buzz your lips into the mouthpiece. You make a little pucker face, and you buzz the lips, and when you put it on the instrument, you get the sound of that instrument. This is a cornet. A cornet is very similar to a trumpet. It has the same length of tubing that a trumpet has. The air and the sound starts here and goes all the way through the instrument here, and pressing these keys changes the notes and the path that it, the air goes in the middle. The French horn works the same way. The mouthpiece is at the top, and the sound goes all the way through the instrument and comes out the bell. And when you press the keys, it changes which of these tubes the air goes through. <laughs> Fun fact about the French horn is that if you were to take all of the tubing and stretch it out, it would be about 15 feet long. That's longer than your car. This is a trombone. A trombone works the same way as the other instruments, but it does not have valves in order to change the note. Instead, you change the length of the slide. The trombone has the buzz that starts in the mouthpiece 
and it also comes out the bell. The trombone is a lot of fun because you can do things like this. The last instrument we have for our instrument families is this snare drum. A snare drum is part of the percussion family. A percussion instrument is anything that you hit, shake, or scrape. This is a drum, specifically a snare drum. A snare drum is an instrument that you hit with sticks. The snare drum makes two sounds. It makes a, ho a hollow sound, but it also has these things on the bottom of the instrument called snares. And that's these little things. To activate the snares, we turn on the pole, and that brings them up really close to the bottom of the instrument. And when they're on the bottom of the instrument like that, we get a different snout sound. So that is our instrument families. Back to our bonus question. Do you remember the question? What instrument family does the piano belong to? What was your guess? If you guessed a string instrument, you would be correct. But if you guessed a percussion instrument, you would also be correct. Many people debate which family this piano should belong in. And oftentimes it's scored with percussion instruments because it has a hammer that hits the strings on the inside, just like in this picture. Now, it does have strings, so that puts it solidly in the string family. I hope you've enjoyed my display of all my instruments, and have a great, fantastic day. Have fun.